going to chop up the garlic and your onion. Now it doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to use that in the sauce which we blend up obviously. So I'm going to add the onion into a pot with some olive oil to fry off. After that soften we'll add the garlic in to soften for a further two minutes. Whilst your onion starts to soften I want you to get another pot and we're going to add the peas in and boil them until cooked. So it's about three or four minutes from frozen. So I've got my spinach in the cold water and then we're going to just take it out and put it on the kitchen paper and just get some more kitchen paper and layer it on top and we're just going to squeeze out the excess water before putting it in the blender with all the other ingredients. So blanching it just stops the cooking process so that it doesn't lose any of its like bright vibrant green colour. So just to give you an idea, I kept using kitchen paper until it's not totally soaking the kitchen paper. So you can see I'm right at the end and that's how much I've squeezed out of it. Still nice and green. I'm going to chop the ends off the courgette and then put them into like quarter slices. And I'm going to stick that in an oven preheated to 200 for about 20 minutes with your olive oil, some salt, pepper and your mixed herbs. Measure out your pasta now and cook it in salted boiling water and remember to retain 150ml of the pasta water once cooked. And once your onion has softened, add the garlic and fry for a further couple of minutes. That's the peas cooked, so I've drained them out and we're now going to blanch the spinach. So we've blanched the spinach, I want a pot of boiling water. I've got a glass bowl of really cold water beside it. We're going to put the spinach in the boiling water for about 40 to 50 seconds and then take it out and put it directly into the cold water. That'll make sure it retains its bright green colour, which we obviously I want for the sauce. So spinach in there, right into the cold water, and then we're just going to pat it dry on kitchen paper. Next, when you get a blender, we're going to start adding all these ingredients to the blender. So to the blender, you're going to add your cooked peas. You put the spinach in and also the cooked onion and garlic. We're going to add your 60 grams of cream cheese. So I've just put it on the scales. And also add in your 150 ml of pasta water. We're then going to blend this up to the desired thickness. You can do it totally smooth. You can do it so you can still see the grains of texture through it. Totally up to you. I have done it totally smooth before, but I actually want to do this this time. Then I'm going to get one of the pots you used. I'm just getting the bigger of the two that I cooked the spinach in um, because we're going to add the pasta sauce in here, add your parmesan, melt it through whilst well, heating up and add in your pasta to coat Once as well. Once you've done that, we're going to grate in your parmesan and heat up the sauce and melt that through. That's your courgette come out the oven as well. So we're going to use that almost as a garnish. Then we're going to add your fusilli through, your cooked fusilli, and season further if required. And then we'll plate up.